Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. It will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it is from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. Let's pull your first card and see what we get. Message for Pisces for the week please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces for the week. What do we have? Okay, I'll do okay there we are oh nice we've got number four beauty I have a form which is divine I allow what is within to shine I mean that's very knight of cups energy which is your card in the minor arcana so it feels very very poignant there to have that card seeing the beauty again We have number 11, passion, rise, passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. Okay. Message for Pis Pisces, please. Message for Pisces angels. Take action. I like this energy of the angel on the horse you know I mean it's sometimes I see this as getting back on the horse and um, taking the reins going for something there's green light energy here okay so I'm going to pull three cards Pisces and remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates for you we'll clarify and also go deeper into the message as we always do as well Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces, first card is, okay, Three of Cups. Six of Swords. Death. Card of Scorpio. Let's clarify the cards on the table, please, for Pisces. 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021 please what do we have for our lovely Pisces thank you message for Pisces nine of wands So we have the Ten of Wands here, Pisces. And the Death card we have with the Queen of Cups, card of Cancer, male or female energy, and we have you. <laughs> I felt your energy before we have the Knight of Cups here. <clears throat> I have to say Pisces you know there's an energy with these cards <clears throat> this can all be about unity union uh, with the three of cups but you know in the challenge position for me as a reader you might for some of you it might well be finding closure in a situation I'm going to say it as well because I'm feeling it you know this can sometimes be about three being a crowd um, so that might resonate for some of you it feels this is to do with love romance relationships but the beautiful thing is that there is beauty passion ahead for you and you're finally seeing the beauty again it feels like you're reconnecting to who you are and putting a difficult situation behind you that you has been a difficult journey you know the nine of wands is <clears throat> somebody who is who is near completion but at the 11th hour they're exhausted it's been a difficult journey but they've come so far and there's one one to go there may well be one obstacle that you're facing here before you find closure in a situation and it feels to do with love romance relationships yeah 
Now, yes, this can also be about receiving emotional support from friends, family, people you have bonds with um, to help give you the strength to see something through. But it definitely feels like it's been some kind of an exhausting journey. And finally, the message from Spirit is the change happens. The Ten, the completion happens. Um, the Ten of Wands is a card of burden, past journey, burdens that have built up over some time, but it's the Ten which is a completion in the Minor Arcana. So it's almost kind of like there was, it feels like there's one obstacle or there's been one, there's one obstacle and then you're just putting it behind you, the worst is over. And with this Six of Swords, this is about finally, the worst is behind you, you're moving from choppy waters to calmer waters, as we show in this card. Um, but it's a transitional energy of something that may have caused you stress, anxiety, worry, something that has been difficult to deal with, finally you're detaching from it, and you're moving to better times. And that's what Spirit is telling you you're going to start heading in the right direction. It feels like the, there's one more thing to go and then you're done. It's, it's finished. You can finally release those burdens and focus on a new goal, a new vision, um, new life. You know, this can also be about moving, relocating and whatever, whatever circumstances for you. Um, but certainly finding your direction and feeling more calm and harmonious within yourself, but also in your external circumstances. Yeah. Because for some of you, it feels there is an ending here. Queen of Cups is a card of Cancer, so male or female energy, you might be dealing with a Cancerian. Um, it can also be a card of somebody who represents the Queen of Cups. Uh, again, somebody who you've had maybe a relationship with or an emotional bond with. There's definitely an energy here. She is somebody who is all about the heart energy, love. Um, so there's definitely an energy here that it feels like some kind of ending with somebody somebody you've been emotionally attached with, in love with. But the Phoenix Rising card, the Death card is, this is a time of out with the old, in with the new. The old is gone, or soon to be gone, or soon to be behind you. And the new Aquarian energy here, new world energy, is ahead. And it's a card of harmony, it's a card of finding that right direction and putting a uh, finally getting the closure that you need and detaching from from the past detaching from something that has weighed you down that has been a lot of pressure to deal with and this is about shedding that pressure shedding those burdens it's a cathartic energy it's a purging energy it's a cleansing energy because with the death card we release we uh, cleanse, we cleanse the past in order to embrace the new. So we shed an old skin. This is the Phoenix Rising card. The Phoenix rises from the ashes of the old because it purges the old in order to embrace the new. So there's a feeling of rising in your colors again once more, rising in your true light, because this is you Pisces, ready, and open for change, ready for certainly new love, ready for new happiness, ready for new opportunities, um, finding direction. Remember the nights are all about moving forward and direction. So I love this energy of feeling positive change, coming back to who you are, reconnecting with who you are because you've purged the trappings of the old. And I definitely feel for some of you, you're, you're feeling the beauty of life again and feeling the passion of life again. And there's definitely an energy of take action. I was feeling this energy of getting back on the horse, wasn't I? And that's definitely what I'm feeling. Just get back on the horse, take the reins of your life, 
and charge ahead and embrace new possibilities. And that is definitely the message for you this week. So I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message for Pisces, please? Any other message for Pisces? Seven of Swords. And the world. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. I mean, it, it can be a card of, of self-sabotage, deception. Uh, you might have been dealing with some deception as well. You know, that could be part of what these burdens were. Again, this energy, like I said at the beginning, with that Three of Cups. Um, but it, it feels in this situation, whatever this is, you're ready to put it behind you, so don't hold back. Don't hold back from the completion. This is a major completion. You've gone through a real test, but something is completing and you are ready to step through a new phase of your life. Um, know and recognize your achievement in coming through the other side of a situation. Um, yeah, it feels very, very beautiful. But this is a major completion, a major completion that's happening. But it's an empowering one because there, with the death card, we are ready for new possibilities. We're ready for the change. We're ready to emerge from one part of our life that's ended to a new part of our life that's just beginning. And it feels very hopeful and inspirational. It feels very beautiful indeed. So, yeah, Pisces, a major completion. There's definitely a major completion on the cards. But, you know, there is greater direction, calm, equilibrium, and reconnecting to who you are ahead. And there's greater beauty and passion. So there is a message. There's every reason to get back on the horse and take the reins of your life and move on. Embrace the new. Don't hold on to the past because it only stops the new from coming in. Make space for the new. Final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces, thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Snake energy. Now that is shedding old skin. My goodness. Um, we have snake kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. <laughs> lovely energies welcome the transformation and that's exactly what you're doing you're just ready for change lovely energy pisces i hope you enjoyed the reading if you do please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you and i will see you next time thank you